The Norwegian forest cat, like its name suggests, is native to Norway and has been in existence for hundreds of years. They have an ancient history and are even mentioned in classic folklore. Let's learn more about this enchanting cat. The Norwegian forest cat, also known as Wedgie or Skog Cat, originated in Northern Europe where the climate is exceptionally cold. Being in such a hostile environment meant that very few animals could actually live there. This naturally occurring breed adapted to the icy climate with its long woolly coat, which kept it warm and insulated. It is said that the Norwegian forest cat's ancestors must have been the ancient British shorthaired cats brought to Norway by the Vikings in the early 1000 AD, along with long-haired felines such as the Turkish Angora. The interaction between these cats led to the modern wedgie as we know it. It is believed that the ancestors of the Norwegian forest cat travelled in ships with Vikings as ship cats and are known for their exceptional skills in catching smaller animals and rodents. There is also a story about a feline playing a role in classic folklore. It was said that Freya, one of the goddesses in Norse mythology, owned two large wedgies that pulled her chariot. These cats were apparently gifted to Freya by Thor. Very mystical indeed. The Norwegian forest cat is mentioned in Norse legends as a mountain-dwelling cat with long fur and the ability to climb very high, higher than most cats can. This is why some breeders and organisations refer to the forest cat as the Norse Skog Cat. In 1938, the Norwegian Forest Cat Club was created in Norway to preserve the breed and ensure that there were more of these brilliant and charming forest cats. However, the progress of the organisation was trumped by the events of World War II and other factors such as crossbreeding with other domestic cats. Luckily, the Norwegian Forest Cat Club intervened just in time to prevent the extinction of the breed. Furthermore, King Olav V in the 1950s declared the forest cats the national heritage and official cat of Norway. The breed was restricted to Norway until the 1970s when it was subsequently discovered by the rest of the world. What does the Norwegian forest cat look like? You could easily mistake a wedgie for a wild cat in the forest because of their large build. It is significantly larger than a regular house cat. Its hind legs are a bit longer than its forelegs, making the cat's rump a bit higher than the shoulders. An adult male wedgie weighs between 10 to 20 pounds, while the female weighs 8 to 18 pounds. An adult has a length of up to 36 inches from its nose to its tail. It is recognised by its muscular form with long legs and a brush-like tail. The top coat is glossy, thick and water repellent, while the undercoat is woolly, tough and quite thick at the chest, head and leg area. While cats do not like water very much, this breed takes it to the next level. It is actually water resistant with its dense undercoat that is built to survive the toughest Scandinavian weather. While their dense fur coats keep them insulated in the cold seasons, it is important to create a cool environment for your cat in the summer, as they would be drawn to cold places and may not be so keen on long hugs or any activity that may generate heat. Imagine being covered with all that fur in a hot summer weather, you get the point. Norwegian forest cats have a lifespan of up to 16 years on average. Wedgies are quite similar to Maine Coons, but if you know your cats well, you will be able to spot these cats very quickly. Norwegian forest cats typically have a medium-sized muzzle and a triangular head. They have an almond-shaped pair of oblique eyes, which could be of any colour. The ears are high-set and pointy, wide at the base with a tuft of hair poking out like that of the lynx. While Norwegian forest cats are great climbers and perfect hunters with a high sense of alertness that is typical for an outdoor cat, they also blend into the indoor life quite easily. Let's take a look at their personality. What kind of personality does a Norwegian forest cat have and should you get one for your kids? With its hunting skills and outdoor abilities, people often wonder if they would make great pets and how they would interact with people, especially kids. Wedgies are very friendly and easily warm up to people. They are friendly with kids and patient too. They make friends with every member of the family without necessarily having a favourite. Their high energy and curiosity makes them a ball of fun to play games with. They are not talkative, but breeders say that they occasionally give off a high-pitched sort of chirping, which usually means that they are trying to tell you something. 
perhaps something as devastating as an empty feeding bowl or an annoying neighbour. Either way, wedgies are very interactive and love to spend time playing with the family. They also do not mind being around dogs as well, as long as your dog doesn't try to bully them. However, it may not be a good idea to leave them around much smaller pets such as mice and guinea pigs, as their predatory nature may cause them to injure or kill the smaller animals. How affectionate are these cute furballs? The Norwegian forest cat loves to cuddle every now and then and are certainly needy. They can be quite attached to their human companions and would like to be involved in every activity. They may not be as affectionate as to take a nap on your lap, but they do love quality time right beside you. They also appreciate a lot of petting, attention and love. Exercises are a huge deal for your cat, since wedgies have the potential to add lots of weight. It is important to make room for your cat to run around and play. If you live in a small apartment, then you might have to create an outdoor play space that allows your cat to fully express themselves without knocking over your expensive china. Norwegian forest cats require an outlet for their high energy and strong hunting instincts. Toys that look like mice or are able to move are very engaging play toys that allow them to shed that excess energy and practice their hunting, not to mention allowing them to have some good exercise. Leash training your cat and taking them for walks is another way to exercise your cat while bonding in nature. Spending time to play with your cat and using interactive toys will improve your bond and get them to love you even more, maybe to the extent of the very rare lap sitting. Now the part you've been waiting for, how to care for your cat. Some people may prefer to brush their cat daily and others whenever necessary, but brushing your cat at least once a week will ensure that their coat is looking silky smooth and shiny. Brushing weekly helps to remove tangles, mats and debris. Grooming is very important for your furry friend as they shed most of their coat once a year when there is no need for insulation. The moderate to heavy shedding will depend on your cat's health, lifestyle and other factors. Regular cleaning of their ears and trimming of their nails is advised. Some cats may not like losing their nails as it affects their movement and coordination, so you should study your cat to see what works best. Most owners usually get a scratching post that allows their cat to trim their nails by themselves while playing. Wedgies are late bloomers, and by this we mean that they mature very slowly. They attain adulthood at around four to five years of age and still maintain their kitten-like behavior with their obsession for toys and long play sessions. Providing them with a climbing post and interactive toys will ensure that they stay engaged for hours in your absence. This, of course, is not a substitute for your attention, so if you have a job that keeps you away for very long hours every day, it would be best to get two cats for companionship. Are there any health problems to be aware of? Almost every pet has a common health problem that is specific to their breed. The Norwegian forest cat is no exception. Your cat may develop health issues during its lifetime or may be prone to congenital issues that could start off early and can be passed on to their kittens. Wedgies are majorly prone to these four diseases. Firstly, we have hip dysplasia. This disease is more common in dogs or big cats, such as the Norwegian forest cat. It causes loosening in the hip joint, which can be painful and cause your cat to walk with a limp. Next is hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. It is the most common heart disease in cats and it causes the walls of the heart to thicken. It can cause the heart to fail if not carefully managed. There's also patella luxation, a condition where the joints are unstable because of continuous dislocations. The tenderness of the knee joints causes it to easily slip out of position more than normal. This is obviously painful and uncomfortable for movement. Lastly, we have glycogen storage disease. This is a health condition where the body is unable to break down glycogen into glucose to be used as fuel for metabolism. It can cause tremors in cats, muscle defects and occasionally make them lose consciousness, especially while they are still young. Asking a reputable breeder for the possible health issues in your kitten and screening them regularly will help with early detection of these health issues. Visiting a vet regularly is very much advised to ensure that your cat is in good health and is in the acceptable weight range. How should you feed your cat? Norwegian forest cats are large muscular cats and their weight has to be put in check because they do have the tendency to be overweight. 
Managing your cat's diet will certainly help to avoid health issues such as hip dysplasia, diabetes, heart-related diseases and other problems caused by being overweight. You should feed your cat twice a day with the measured amounts and limit random snacking. How much do wedgies cost? While prices may vary over time, you can expect to pay between $600 to $1,500 depending on your location. If you can't afford one, you may be lucky to adopt a Norwegian forest cat or any of its lookalikes from any local cat shelter near you.